What is going on? Dan and Fletcher checking out. Type O negative. Life is killing me. Based on uh, the way I like Type O negative, slow, methodical paced. The song title, Life is Killing Me, makes me already very hopeful that I'm going to like this song. It does. Like, I, I, I'm i kind of picturing how it's probably going to go. It's not going to be a happy song. And when Typo Negative's depressed, I'm happy about it. Let's check this out. Hit like, subscribe. This comes from Matt. If you guys have any requests, hit me up. They've been on a roll, too. They've been on a roll. What was the last one? Pyretta Blaze? It's a fucking good song, man. It's right there on the verge of being playlist worthy. Ah, really good, really good. What uh, of course, like uh, "Praise of Bacchus," one of my favorite songs, actually. Like by anyone, I love that song. And uh, I always struggle with the acronym. If you don't kill me, I'm going to have to kill you. A another great one, absolute banger. I think I got that right. I always get lost at the in the middle. But I think I got it. Shit. Like a Jew in ancient Spain, who for Christ's name did pay with pain modern day. Inquisition. What is the link between these crafts? Doctors and thieves, they both wear masks over. Oh, uh, talk! Magicians. Wow. Oh shit. it up.
low key feels like it's three different pieces of th- like pieces of three different songs kind of jammed together like drastic tone shift. <laughs> The way they build that, it's the second time they've done it in this song. Where they build it, dot, 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 where you think a drop's coming, but I don't think Typo Negative's the the drop style band. I gotta I gotta remember that. <laughs> Now we're going back to the first. good there it goes all right it was a pretty good song it was pretty good but for it, it's not as good as the, the the three typo negative songs i mentioned before it, it's not it's not on their level it just isn't it felt like it felt almost like they didn't know exactly what they wanted this song to be exactly like the first uh the first third before the the first chorus that was doing some special shit. And he was talking heavy. He even had a bar about what do thieves and doctors have to do in common. They both wear masks. They both kind of like steal from you was the point. Fucking awesome. I like that path. That was a that was the path we were going on for Life is Killing Me. That would have been epic if they would have done it for the entire song. And then do the Life is Killing Me chorus. And then go back to that same initial tone. Slow pace, him talking about it still, about why what he hates about life. That that would have been fucking awesome. But after the first chorus, we kind of like went to a whole different, almost song. The whole vibe and melody was different, which probably would have been fine if that was also how it started. But instead, you t- you teased me with that with the way we were the direction we started with, which was a very interesting direction. So then it went completely away from it, and that, that never came back until it kind of, at the very end, kind of, but not really, because all it did was lead back into the chorus. Again, pretty good song, but it just felt like you, you teased me at the beginning of, of a really interesting direction for a, a song called Life is Killing Me by Type O Fucking Negative. That could have been a dark, talk-to-your-soul type of type of song. Instead, it was it was pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> but not bad. Again, pretty good. Let me know what you guys think down below. Life is killing me. Good chorus. Very catchy. Even though very simple, obviously. It's the same thing repeated, but catchy. And it didn't sound like him. It was named Peter, right? It did not it didn't sound like him doing that scream. Or not scream, but that yelling that chorus. But then again, I've I've only heard a few typo negative songs so far, probably like five or six. And for the most part, 
He doesn't yell, yell. That was that was kind of yelling. That was kind of more Trent Reznor-ish, which I'm going to continue to compare them because the styles are kind of similar. At least to me. Again, I've only heard not a hell of a lot of either one, but what I have heard, they're in the same world, that is for sure. Let me know what you guys think. If you are still here, you are a real one.